reading, writing, speaking, listening, understanding. From the moment we are born, learning is a series of stepping stones in our growth and development. But for children with attention deficit disorder, it's a difficult road for the child and for the rest of the family. These are people that have difficulty in focusing, uh, difficulty in, in learning. Um, they may have a problem with uh, behavior that's uh, very hyperactive, uh, that, that can't seem to be controlled uh, without uh, using medications. Mitchell Gandhi is one of those children. The youngest of four, Mitchell was a beautiful baby, the pride and joy of Mike and Ayla Gandhi. But as he grows from baby to active two-year-old, it becomes clear that Mitchell is different. He did not make eye contact. When he was older, his uh, language seemed to be delayed. We thought maybe it's, uh, he's going to be a late bloomer. However, the language uh, did not develop. We would not be able to slow him down from the morning, uh, from the time that he woke up in the morning to you know, the time that uh, he either wanted to sit and eat or uh, he wanted to go to sleep. When Mitchell is three, he comes down with an extremely bad cold. Mike and Ayla take him to their pediatrician, but the diagnosis isn't what they expect. He said that, you know, this child cries very differently. There's something different about him. There's a condition called autism, and this child is autistic. First, I tried to deny, not have autism, it's his hearing. And we took him to the hearing clinic, and the first thing the audiologist there said that, you know, don't quote me, but I think he's autistic. And it, it was almost like the whole world sort of turned upside down, because uh, one day he was, uh, in our minds, you know, a normal child, another member of our family, and the next day he was uh, a child that, you know, we, we needed to give something more to immediately. While there is nothing anyone can do medically for Mitchell's autism, the doctor does recommend Ritalin to treat his hyperactivity, the drug most often prescribed to children with ADD. It effectively calms Mitchell's aggressive behavior, but there is a cost. What the Ritalin did is immediately just put him in slow motion. It was like, you know, you, you're looking at a videotape and it's on fast forward and everything is going really fast. That's what he was like. And then they give him Ritalin and he would be in slow motion. He used to cry for hours and after that uh, he found a closet and uh, he went hiding in a closet, linen closet and closed the door. So I thought, no way, I'm not gonna have my child uh, hiding in a closet. I'd rather have, have him running around the house and healthy than drugged out. The Gandhis suffered through this roller coaster ride for almost two years. It wasn't easy for any member of the family. Any time that you have, uh, you know, a medication like that, that takes away, that, that has so much of an effect on someone that it, it takes away from who that person is, you really have to wonder, you know, is it beneficial? By now, Mitchell is in school where his special needs require special attention. Mitchell was on Ritalin when I first met him and when he first began kindergarten. Uh, he came in with basically no language, no uh, means for communicating uh, verbally or any other way with, um, with the rest of his peers or with adults. We cut his dosage down by 75 percent and even that was bringing out symptoms uh, that we felt were best not suited for our son. So within a matter of a couple of months, we wanted to take him off Ritalin completely, and we did take him off. We got the attention deficit disorder. The hyperactivity came back. He could run hours in the corridor, back and forth, back and forth, run up the stairs, down the stairs. He just is busy. He's like a wind-up toy, and he never gets tired just keeps on going. He will want to take a glass from the closet, smash it on the floor, take an egg out of the fridge, throw it on the floor, see it break. He was into, you know, he was very excited when something would break on the floor. We, we felt that we would rather deal with that than deal with him going into a constant state of depression. 
Concern for Mitchell had become the focus of the whole Gandhi family. In England, Mitchell's mother had gone to see a homeopath for treatment for a skin condition and had been pleased with the results. Her referral brings her son and his family to the office of homeopath Raymond Edge. Within a matter of about 15 minutes, Mitchell had Raymond's office upside down. The doctor was very understanding and he said, don't worry about it, it's okay. The remedy that was actually given to him was, is known as tuberculinum. Tuberculinum is prepared from the sputum of someone who has tuberculosis. Other part, no, other one, this one, this one. Within a few weeks, the Gandhis began to see noticeable changes in their son's behavior, without the startling side effects that they had experienced with Ritalin. He suddenly seemed to be calmer. He didn't display any of the symptoms that he did with Ritalin. When Mitchell was placed on the homeopathic medicine, it seemed as though he had his personality back. It had the effects of the Ritalin, and it had the effects of his personality all into one. I was really amazed, yeah, that I have my Mitchell back. <laughs> he smiled at me because when he was on uh, Ritalin or Dexatrin, he did not smile. So it was so great to see that smile back. The fact that Mitchell was given tuberculinum for his condition was based more on his, his nature as a person. The next person coming with uh, diagnosed with autism or ADD would probably get a totally different remedy. Dosages and the type of remedies used are adjusted through the ups and downs of Mitchell's progress. There are times when the Gandhis go back to traditional drugs to curb certain behaviors, but it is always in tandem with homeopathic care. The long-term um, goal was to find something that could act curatively. I mean, that's a, a bit of a stretch perhaps for this condition, but certainly to improve the quality of his life and, and those around him. The Gandhis would be the first to tell you that the quality of their lives has improved. Homeopathic care is just part of a larger picture that includes a change in diet, intervention therapy, and a family's unconditional love. It may be a long road, yet uh, for him it's not a quick fix. The earlier you start, you know, the better your chances are. And, uh, you know, try everything. I will try everything, I guess. It uh, doesn't hurt the child. I will try everything and try to do my best every day. You're never going to be able to defeat autism, but what you can do is, uh, is affect uh, some of the, uh, you know, the negative consequences of it. Give me five, give me five.